for another first impression review and it's on Lancome's newest foundation called Nude Miracle. It says here, weightless feel and bare matte finish. There's 14 different shades to choose from. It retails for $42. I bought this at Sephora and the shade that I am wearing today is in 340 Bisque. This one is like the serum form. The glass bottle, I personally don't like glass bottles because I feel like I'm accident prone when it comes to foundations and I'm always dropping them. On the website, it does say that it has a light to medium coverage. Interesting, it says that 100% of women tested forgot that they were even wearing the foundation. That says a lot. So apparently it's super lightweight. Let's just give this a try. So I just moisturized my skin. I'm not gonna use a primer. I just want to see how well this works by itself. And I'm using the yeah Hourglass foundation brush. This smells good. All of the high-end foundations I've been trying lately just smell so good. You just don't find that in drugstore foundations nowadays. All right, I feel it setting in. Okay, so it has set. It's been about 45 seconds. And it feels, it, it is lightweight, just like it says. So comparing the two sides, obviously one side is flawless. <laughs> Let's see how well it conceals, because I do have this zit that completely disappeared. Wow. It literally feels like I have nothing on my face. So it's been about 10 minutes and I am enjoying the foundation so far. It looks good. It feels great. Looking up close, it just looks like it's a super soft powder. So of course we got to do the flash photo test. Ah, oh, that is just not cute. It's funny, my face looks flawless but I could totally see that like subtle white film over my face. So unfortunately, it doesn't photograph well in flash, but I think in person it looks awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go on with my day. It is now just about 12 in the afternoon. I will check back in a few hours. It is almost 7.15 in the evening. I am starting to look oily around my T-zone. And I'm just gonna powder around my T-zone. Everywhere else looks nice, it still looks fresh, and I can still clearly see my blush and bronzer. While I was carrying my kids, I didn't notice any transfer on their clothes, so it's clearly sitting on a good foundation. I will check back at the very end of the night. It is 11.25 in the evening. You know what, just around my nose, I've noticed that the foundation has completely rubbed off because I just, I scratch my nose way too often and there's just only a few foundations where it doesn't come off even after I do that. And I am noticing that the oil is seeping through even after I powdered. Considering how long I've worn this foundation, I don't think my foundation looks bad. Uh, it didn't claim to be long wear. It didn't claim to have a certain like 24 hour wear or anything. I do like how natural it looks on your skin and how it feels like you don't have makeup on. And the only cons I don't like are just the way it's packaged. I think it could have still done better as a pump. And then I just don't like glass foundations. It's like you're screaming for an accident to happen. And lastly, the obvious one, I don't like how it looks in flash photos. My skin still looks flawless, but you can see that subtle white film that just makes it look like almost like a mask. So I find this to be freakishly similar to the other foundation I reviewed, which is a YSL Fusion Ink. Just the formula seems way too similar. The fact that it's like a liquidy serum changes from a liquid to powder. Although the YSL does set faster and I think it feels like it does feel like silk. It's a good foundation, pretty good. I just, I love how weightless it is. 
but I don't think it's good enough for me to repurchase, especially considering that it is a pricier foundation. Let me know your thoughts on this if you have tried it. And also don't forget to check out my other channels. It's Mommy's Life where I talk about mommy related things. And then of course my vlog channel where I vlog every single day with my family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.